Okay, so you gotta love Simon Neal of Biffy Clyro, right? Uh, playing that Stratocaster uh, into that high gain amplifier using all these almost too logical chord voicings that just work and still sound really heavy yet uh, heavy yet melodic. Okay, so for the purposes of this song, I have my guitar tuned to a drop D. If you don't know how to do that. Okay, this is standard tuning. I'm just gonna lower the, the, the uh, low sounding E string. To sound uh, at the same pitch as the D string. So to play the main riff, you're gonna bar um, the uh, E, A, and D strings with your index finger. Okay, to play that um, F sharp power chord. And then I'm gonna fret, sixth fret and fifth fret on the G and B strings respectively. And here's the um, the basic riff. Okay, so I'm chopping it into two pieces: the um, the low strings, okay, and these two, the G and the B strings. Sliding into that 6th fret from the 4th fret. Which is a pretty standard rock and roll procedure, right? Second chord is, an e, uh, is a D chord, sorry, because I'm in drop D, playing all of these uh, open strings, but leaving the 6th and the 5th uh, fret on the G and B strings uh, where they were. And you can even play that low E string because that's um, has the same sound as the fifth fret. So you're going like this. Then you're going to play a B bar chord. Second fret on the A string, fourth fret on the G, at uh, the D, G, and B strings. We're playing a sus four with your pinky on the B, uh, on the B string, fifth fret. I'm sure you know that. lead into the second uh, verse or the second line in that verse uh, you're gonna slide into that fourth position uh, single finger power chord from the second fret so that's a simple lead in chorus if we all uh, that's a D chord regular D chord not fretting the um, <clears throat> the low E string so it actually it's a D sus2 but the convenient thing about drop D tuning is you, you can leave all of those open strings sounding like this and then you're gonna play an E chord which is played by uh, barring that second fret okay. and then you're fretting fourth fret on the G string and fifth fret on the B string. So that's the same thing. Sounds tremendously heavy, even on this uh, single coil setting of the uh, Jeff Beck humbucker. Moving it up one fret. If we all. And then the main riff. I use a 
different picking pattern, different right hand pattern in the chorus. Still alternating between the bottom and the top strings. Now, uh, I play um, a, a D power chord on the fifth fret. Third and fourth time around, okay? So here's the whole chorus, if we all. that thing slowly okay then you're gonna play an A add 9 and play a regular A so I'm playing an A power chord it's 2 and 2 on the D and G strings and I'm gonna fret the 4th fret Exactly the same as in the do 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 da 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 by the police, which is also on my channel. Another D again. Back into the main theme. Okay. Now in the middle bit, <clears throat> there is. Um, there is a part where the song becomes more symphonic and there's this guitar line that sounds like this. That is basically uh, it's uh, an uh, an F sharp minor um, scale. Okay, so it's fourth fret on the D string, first fret on the G string, second fret on the G string, fourth fret on the G string. Second fret on the B string. Back, fourth fret on the G string, second fret, first fret, again. So I'm play that slowly. finger per fret uh, when you're playing that scale and I'm muting out these two strings with my right hand. And the second part is second fret on the D string, fourth fret on the D string, first fret on the G string, second fret on the G string, fourth fret on the G string, same notes. Slowly. Okay, so muting out these two strings using alternate picking with the right hand and one finger per fret. Uh, over here with the left hand. And then there's on the sixth fret. Okay, so that's where, where it takes you into the next part of the song. So that's just a simple bar chord 
uh, which is really easy with one finger thanks to the drop D tuning on the sixth fret, letting go, playing it open. Okay, so you're coming from here. Thank you. 